This is day, I don't know, hair. I'm gonna guess seven or eight. I've worn a beanie a couple of times in Colorado, so it's flat as shit. Um, the ends still aren't bad, so I'm gonna show y'all how to fix your hair on day six so that you don't look homeless like me. Water-based leave-in conditioner for your ends because they look wretched. So just gonna smooth that through and then I'm going to brush it. First, this kind of protects it before you brush it. I've got all these flyaways. I mean, it looks pretty gross. I'm gonna start brushing from the bottom and work my way up to the top. The back of my head's nasty, don't worry. I have a problem for that too. I mean a solution, whatever. Okay, this is classic case of I had my ends looking fine, but look at the back of my head. Yuck, from all the beanies. So here's how we're gonna fix it. As per usual, hoops for my ears. Hat of the day, Frankie says relax. Any questions? Hey everybody, um, today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to properly flat iron hair so that it doesn't feel crinkly at the ends. I know that's happened to all of us, so it's gonna be a really quick, easy tutorial and it's gonna be a really easy hair hack. You'll thank me later. And we're gonna thank Skylar for providing this beautiful okay, head okay, of hair okay. for us. I thought you wanted to part it in the middle. Oh, yeah. First of all, no matter how strong you think your hair is, do not take your flat iron over 390 degrees. Taking large chunks and going over and over and over is the wrong way to do it. Section out a small piece and put a comb on it. Flat iron behind the comb nice and slowly until you get all the way to the end one time and that's going to keep the ends from crinkling because it straightens them as you go through it. Hey everybody! I've had a couple of requests to go over purple shampoos and to do one of these on purple shampoos so I'm going to show you all a few of my favorites and why they're my favorites. First of all, Fanola No Yellow and Fanola No Orange amazing 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 for toning in the salon this is way too pigmented though in my opinion to have at the house because you can over pigment your hair it will make it dry and it will break it off over time not the shampoo itself i left the pulp riot professional shampoo the purple one at my house but that's also an excellent one for in salon only because also it's ultra pigmented if you aren't constantly fighting with yellow pigments in your hair, this one's perfect. It's called Blondifier and it helps break up the molecules so that it stays nice and fresh and not dull. But the absolute best purple shampoo for at the house, Magnesium Silver by L'Oreal Professional. Hey guys, excuse the fact that I literally look like a five-year-old right now, but <laughs> um, I have a life hack for you guys today for people with long hair, who um, don't want to spend time, a lot of time, curling their hair. Like, to get it all curled takes me about, like, I don't know, maybe like an hour. Um, so this, like, minimizes it a ton. So what you're going to want to do is throw your hair in two ponytails. Probably I'd recommend scrunchies so that you don't, it doesn't leave, like, a crease. And basically what you're going to do is just have all of your hair in these ponytails and curl the ponytails. So after I curl these, I'm going to show you what it ends up looking like. Alright guys, so we're all done and this only took me about 15 minutes, so let's take them out. Alrighty, so all you need to do is just shake it out a little bit. Ta-da! <laughs> so do you think that we could um, sneak a bottle of wine into the movies like this? What do you think? Is it too heavy? Perfect. Yes! <laughs> hey everybody, these TikToks seem to be your favorite, so here we go. This is about day five hair. I have absolutely no idea what I'm gonna do with it. I took a shower with it up in this bun, but I'm gonna put some dry shampoo on it. I'm gonna put some leave-in conditioner on it, some dark oil. We're gonna see what this mess ends up as. I'm gonna try to lift up these roots, and then I'm gonna use this color spray to cover up my gray. Here we go. I changed my hair today, so. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Not hurry.
That'll work. I always have to pull a few pieces down. First, I'm going to use this salicylic acid volumizing shampoo. And then the second time I wash it, I'm going to use this Blondifier shampoo to help break up the bonds on the outside of my hair and this purple shampoo to brighten it up. I am on day 10 hair. So for these shampoos on both, both times, I'm going to use super hot steaming water because one, I love it. And two, my scalp needs that shit. to not scrub our scalps vigorously, screw that, scrub it. Remember to scrub your roots, not your end. Two pumps of each for the second shampoo. Stylist tip, you can work the tangles out with the shampoo. Bubbles from the shampoo create an air space to pull those tangles out. Season let go, don't rub. Conditioner mid links ends only. It's out cold water, don't Let me see you dance just one more time. So they say, dance for me, dance for me, dance for me, oh. First and foremost, do not comb your hair while it's wet. It's in its weakest state. Instead, let it dry as you blow dry. It will happen. The tangles will come out. Density Root Lifter by L'Oreal. And I found this liquid gem at the bottom of my daughter's closet. It's a heat protectant and leave-in conditioner that's discontinued. To get rid of flakes and dandruff, flip your head over and blow dry your roots. Not worried about the ends, only the roots. Blow drying from roots to ends, the same as we clean a house from ceiling fan to floor. Look how this was a rat nest. Look how it detangles as it dries. Okay, it's completely dry, no brush. My hair's wavy, so it makes it look huge, but now I'm going to round brush it now that it's dry. Favorite brush technique, size 450. Let me get this clear. Hey everybody, this goes out to my super, super curly headed folks. I've read your comments, I get it. I get it, I see you, and I hear you. I didn't know that it was a thing where there weren't as many tutorials for curly, curly, curly hair as there are for hair like mine. So I want you to know, I hear you, you're exactly right. Your hair does need to be treated and handled differently than someone like mine who has slightly wavy and very fine hair. I'm waiting on one of my clients to come in who has corkscrew curly hair coming out of her roots. Hopefully she'll let me do a tutorial on it, but I just want you to know, Annie Kay's got your back. I want everybody to live their best hair life. I promise it's in the works. Keep following me. I got your back. I'm for you. I promise. So it's been requested by one of you guys to do a hair tutorial of how I get my buns and how I do it. So I'm just going to gather my hair up into like a high ponytail, like so. And I have a little fringe bit, so I just kind of like pull that to the side. Come a bit closer to the camera. So I've got my hair in a ponytail. I take my big bat and I just kind of like do this, but I don't pull the hair all the way through. I twist it round, pull it, and then twist it round once more pull it through until you get a bun and pull it like that and so it should kind of look like this and then you get the front of that side and you pull it around and you get a bobby pin and you just grip it in place so i just did the same with the other side and pinned it around to the front and then it's up to you whether you put it up or if you kind of like push it down and then grip any bits up at the back and that is how i do my buns hopefully it helped you guys Stop putting purple shampoo on your dry hair. Not all purple shampoos are made the same. I did a video about this just the other day. Do you want purple hair?
get purple hair dye. If you want pretty blonde hair, keep following. Holy Texas humidity. Here's a pro tip on how to style your hair the next day using a round brush and a blow dryer when it's already dry versus a flat iron or a curling iron. This type of heat is a lot better for your hair because it works with opening and closing the hair and locking in the curl the same as old school rollers did. So here we go, I'm gonna show you how. Large section, put the blow dryer right on it and just smooth it out. Finish with the sides, grab a huge section in the back and round brush it together. For the flyaways on the top, I just lightly, lightly hairsprayed them and gently patted them down. Day three hair is smooth Hope you guys liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. It does help support us and let's know what videos you guys want to see.